Right now, the radar is fairly quiet here for the southwest Florida coastline, but boy, look at all the rain down off the uh, coast here of Miami-Dade and in the upper Keys. Anywhere from Ocean Reef, Key Largo, down towards Isla Mirada and Layton, we have some heavy rain there moving along the overseas highway, and you see the flow coming across the state. Now, we do have a little bit of rain moving in the opposite direction on the north side of the front between Clues and Belle Glade and Indian Town. Along the coast, I-75 and Tamiami Trail here as you start your Tuesday, we're nice and dry. Unfortunately, yesterday, what few showers we saw around missed the rain gauges. You see both zero there at Naples and Fort Myers, so our deficits continue to grow. But again, by the time we get towards the weekend, we're hoping to put a big dent in these numbers as we have a significant chance of rain here uh, in the next couple of days. As far as your temperatures this morning, it is in the upper 60s to low 70s, but it is windy still this morning. That wind near 15 miles per hour at right now at 618 readings of 12, both at Marco and Punta Gorda, and we have a gust of 20 in Venice, 12 in the Cape. We're going to see our winds gust today up to 30 miles per hour or higher at times. They'll be sustained near 20. Check out the forecast for the gust. All the way through the afternoon, we're looking at 30 miles per hour, uh, possibly higher at times as it is going to be a windy day with a 30% chance of a scattered shower. So we talked yesterday about today being a little drier than what would be especially for the mid parts of the week. So as we look at those readings, we'll be uh, just shy of our average, which is now up to 85. You see the record on the state, 95 degrees. I want to start with the big picture here. Old frontal boundary here to the south, but a low pressure center is forecast to develop right there over the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow afternoon. That's going to pull moisture back overhead. And tomorrow we're looking at an 80% chance of rain with a south flow here Thursday morning, maybe a few showers for the morning commute and then scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. Little detailed look at uh, this afternoon and today, very windy and notice by lunchtime we're dry with the highest chance of rain south into Collier County. And then Wednesday, a much different picture as we progress through the day, we're going to see a pretty high chance of rain and that should continue for about 48 hours. Matter of fact, in the seven day, the two stormiest days here this week, Wednesday and Thursday, rain will taper down there fairly dry on Saturday. Then we see a return chance of rain for early next week as we'll see at least a 60% chance of rain on Monday.